A Russian protest for freedom of expression. Thousands took to the streets after a theatre director in the city of Novosibirsk was fired for the way he presented the Wagner opera Tannhäuser. Culture Minister Vladimir Medinsky sacked Boris Mezdrich for insulting Russian Orthodox believers following the production of the opera. The protest follows a series of new laws for Russian arts in recent years, rekindling memories of Soviet-style censorship. On stage, the demonstrations organiser said, There is and should be the right of artists to freedom of speech and creative ideas, just as we have the freedom of religious beliefs. In the Russian constitution, it says that censorship is prohibited, but the events connected to the closing of Tannhäuser say that censorship comes to our space. In Boris Medrich's staging of the opera in Novosibirsk, naked female spirits congregate on stage as a singer portraying Jesus is tempted by the Roman goddess Venus. Protesters at a separate rally in St. Petersburg called for censorship to be stopped. What is happening now is censorship in our culture is one of the symptoms of fascism advancing in our country. This includes censorship in the cultural sphere. It includes an offensive on the rights of workers. It includes militarization and the increase in pressure from the church on all areas of life. It's not only theatre that's been censored. Russian film Leviathan, which centres around an ordinary man forced to fight a corrupt mayor, wowed Western movie critics. However, it failed to please Russian political and church figures, who claimed the motion picture is damaging to the image of modern society. Some even claimed the film should be banned.